Hey there do-it-yourself technician. What's the best way to save a wet phone? If it's just happened to you and you've found your way here, start by turning it off, wipe the outside dry and put it in a sealed container of uncooked rice and then stay tuned for more details. Firstly, why is water in your device a problem? Without getting too much into the electronics, water and most other liquids conduct electricity. And if it gets inside, electricity runs from one of these little components to another in ways that they weren't designed to do. This can cause short circuits and overload components. Why don't they make devices waterproof then? Well, the answer is because it's hard and because it's expensive. They are getting better though. iPhones since the 7 have been water resistant and will theoretically be okay in up to a meter of water for 30 minutes. But I'm not trying that with my phone. The newer iPhones will go up to 2 meters with the iPhone 10 and 11 and up to 4 meters with the iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max. The Samsung since the Galaxy S7 have been water resistant to 1.5 meters as well. And other manufacturers are keeping up. Of course, if your phone has been opened for repairs or has a crack in the screen or even the rear casing, it's going to be much more susceptible to liquid damage. And when you consider a drop of water could easily be as big as a five cent piece, you can see here how many components that might touch. Even in a sealed phone, water resistance will decrease over time as parts move and seals wear. So what do you do if your phone gets liquid on it? First, turn it off and leave it off. If it's a phone you can take the battery out of, do that now. If it was anything other than water that got on your phone, rinse it off with clean, fresh water. Then dry it with a clean cloth and then stand it upright and give it a few taps to get as much water as you can out of the speaker grills and the sockets. If you actually can't live without being contacted for a few hours, now's the time to eject your SIM card and put it in another backup phone. This is going to take time. Now we want to put the phone in something that will absorb water. Uncooked rice is the normal thing because pretty much everybody has that around. Other great options are those little silica gel desiccant packets that's exactly what they're designed to do but you'd need a whole bunch of them to make it worthwhile. The other option is kitty litter because absorbing moisture is exactly what it's designed to do. It needs to go in a sealed container something like a takeaway food container or even a snap lock bag. Okay here's the hard part. Leave it there. Off. For like five hours. Preferably overnight. 24 hours is ideal. Yes it's hard. You may have to go back to some ancient piece of technology, like an iPhone 3G, or even go without. Nah. This is the best bet for saving your shiny new phone, and it's a heck of a lot better than shelling out the dollars for a new one. Be patient. Do not attempt to charge your device at this time either. After you've left it as long as you can, it's time for the moment of truth. Turn the phone back on, and see what happens. If it freezes or it's weird or glitchy, turn it straight back off, put it back in the rice and leave it for another 24 hours. If it works, congratulations, you may have saved your phone. To be really sure, it might even be worth putting it back in the rice overnight the following night, just to be double sure. Of course, you can never really be sure and it may take weeks or months before any damage actually shows. It's also worth noting that most devices have tiny little stickers inside them that turn from white to red if the device comes in contact with any moisture. So the manufacturer will know that the device is come in contact with moisture if you should try to send it back under warranty. I hope that was helpful, although I really hope you'd actually never need this information in the first place. It's also worth noting that a really good case will provide wonderful protection from moisture as well as bumps, scratches and drops. They're generally really worth the investment. If you've saved anything by drying it in rice or something similar, please let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear your story. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. You can subscribe to the channel here or to our newsletter up here. There's also some videos here and here that you might not have seen before. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.